So here's a look at the euro and price action in the first quarter of 2019. Not a lot of direction here, a lot of choppy back and forth. And this follows 2018 fourth quarter price action that was much of the same. The euro right now has come off that support, that multi-month low, that recent low at 111.75, but couldn't hold below 112. And on the resistance side, though, we are under pressure and would need to get back above 114.50. But when we look at this medium to longer term picture, we're reminded that the market did break out off multi-year lows in 2017, all the way up to a plus three year high. And this latest pullback has been intense enough that it's a sizable correction potentially ahead of the next major upside extension. When we look at this chart, we can see that we've come back into this previous major resistance zone, now turned support, and the market could see limited downside from here ahead of an eventual push back to the top side, but 114.50 is that short-term level of resistance that we'll need to break above to suggest that the downside pressure has been alleviated.